Finally, perhaps the award that captures the essence of 2021, just as it did in 2020, the award for coronavirus response. The coronavirus pandemic has undoubtedly brought out the very best in people within North Kesteven, where individuals have stepped forward with spontaneity and good heart, whether acting in isolation as a good neighbour through the combined efforts of group initiatives or as a business whose emphasis was naturally to protect and provide. There is something in the actions of many of the finalists we've met already that includes an aspect of coronavirus response, maybe through ensuring provision and support for mental health, in looking out more for a neighbour or rallying round to deliver dinners to the vulnerable and self-isolating. Whilst equally eligible for consideration here, they were worthy finalists in their distinct categories. This award looks to honour an individual or group which, through distinct or collective response and sustained activity, has made a significant contribution to community health and welfare over the pandemic. With the best will in the world, I do hope that we won't be needing this award next year. But while we do, let's celebrate the actions of our finalists and get a sense of what they've done. They are Branston Good Neighbour Scheme, Brant Bruton Brownies and Sage Gardener at Eagle Hall. Sage Gardener is a small community garden and hub of people that we work with to develop friendships, um, learning about nature, um, gardening and get them to meet new people. Coronavirus came and overnight we lost everything. We lost our income, we lost our people, we lost our volunteers. And the key thing for us was thinking about how we could support both the volunteers that we have and the community that we serve. And to do that, we decided to do wellbeing boxes that we could deliver out to them. When they get a wellbeing box, um, they have a box which they can take their time going through and it breaks up that long stretch of day when you can't do anything else and you're stuck in the house. Um, and the message of how it makes people feel so much less lonely and thought of was a really strong one for me. The community were absolutely amazed, I think, that we'd got anything together. We'd already started giving them a call and doing a bit of befriending over the phone, linking them up with some of the, the government agencies that were doing things. A lot of them have no family and, and no other contact than us. After the lockdown, we were very lucky to get some funding to run some storytelling and some memories um, work. And we did a series of one-to-one -one activities out here um, that got people out to do telling their stories and their memories and that overcame Covid fear but what we've learned from it is that we need to go into the community more not have people here necessarily um, and to that effect from January we shall be running a programme in the community we'll be running one-to-one -one walks and some befriending and some phone calls and supporting the community that was so needy and so grateful to us that isn't why we did it. We did it to make a difference, um, but so needy um, and so lonely that we want to make sure that we don't miss some of those people in the future. Such collective action exemplifies the aspirations of North Stephen District Council as expressed through its vision of a district of flourishing communities. To make this final award, let's hear from council leader, councillor Richard Wright. Having initiated amazing, spontaneous and much valued responses to support and safeguard their communities at the start of the pandemic, it is a credit to all three of our finalists that they all continue in their determination to protect, promote and provide for those in need. Halted in their tracks by the pandemic and having to repeatedly rethink their mechanisms to support a vulnerable client group throughout the changing circumstances of the past 18 months, our winning group has seen its volunteers reach well beyond their own comfort zone to affect a heartfelt response to those most isolated and in need of companionship. I have great pleasure in announcing Sage Gardner as the winner of this category. Congratulations too to the Brant Bruton Brownies and Branston Good Neighbour Scheme who have made and continue to make the world of difference. Thank you all for all you do. <laughs> I 
I'd just like to say thank you to everyone involved with ourselves, um, our supporters, uh, the people that donated, our volunteers, our community, and anyone else that's given us funding, um, how much it has meant to people to win this award. Thank you. Well, that's it. We're done.